I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And uh, today we're going to have the second song of Christmas. Uh, last week we had the first one, uh, the Song of Mary. And now we're going to have today the Song of Zechariah. And uh, maybe you'd like to call your friends and say, uh, you know, tune us in because it's Christmas. And the emphasis and the spotlight is on Jesus. I just love Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. So uh, you just stay with us and you'll be glad that you did. You're going to get a blessing whether you want one or not. So how do you like that? Well, we're going to be singing, uh, thinking about the song of Zechariah today. And if you have your Bibles, you turn to Luke chapter 1. <clears throat> Luke chapter 1. And we're going to start with verse 60, 67. And you might just leave it open because as we preach along, we're going to refer to this passage. But we read here that his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied. That is, uh, John the Baptist, uh, his father, Zechariah, who was a priest, uh, and he prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and he hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that, that hate us, to perform the mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear." And he did with that in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light, <coughs> light to them that sit in darkness. <clears throat> and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. We're going to have a prayer now, and in the prayer we always pray for our brothers and sisters, the persecuted church, and we're going to pray for those in Lebanon, <clears throat> because some of them are suffering and dying for the Lord. And uh, so we think of, Lebanon this week. So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you first of all for Zechariah and the great vision that he had revealed to him about how this coming Savior would come and bring darkness, bring light to those who sit in darkness, to the whole world that's in darkness, and, uh, on, and uh, the devil blinds the eyes of all of those who follow him. And then you came, the light of the world, and the light shined in the darkness, and there was light into the world, and people responded to that light until now. All over the world, we have those people who love you and serve you. And, oh, Lord, some of them serve you unto death, as are, we think especially of our dear brothers and sisters in Lebanon, that, oh, Lord, they, they were called upon to testify, you know, to, to, to deny you, Lord. And they testified to their saving faith, and they refused to turn their back on you. And they were threatened with death, and they still refused to turn, refused to turn. And they gave, some of them gave their life. And now they're in your presence, Lord, and they wear the martyr's crown. And someday we'll see them. So we don't pray for them, Lord, because they're safe at home, never to have another trouble or trial. But we pray for those who are left behind, especially the children, the little children, innocent little children. But, oh, God, that's what the, always happens in wars and all of the rest of it. The innocent suffer with the rest of the world and how sad it is. And so be close to them. We know you will. Help them to trust you and to lean on you. To help them not to be afraid and to know that the loving arms are of Jesus are around them and you'll take them safely home at the appointed time. So we just love you, Lord, and we just pray for these dear people. Now bless us in this service. We pray that many will open their hearts to Jesus, 
wonderful, wonderful Jesus. In his name we pray, amen.